Hey you guys, I wanna show you a quick technique today using your word dies or letter dies. This one is from the Hero Arts August 2021 kit that I purchased and it just says love. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll go ahead and clip these apart, but in this situation I was like, huh, I actually can get more use by keeping it together. So the first one I did, so I'm gonna make two cards using this one die one time through the die machine. So I took an eight and a half by 11 black piece of card stock, cut it down the middle and then scored it to create a four and a 4.2 five by five and a half card base. That's also an A2. Then I just simply laid it this in the front of the card where I wanted the love to show and I cut that out. Now it is perfectly lined up so I don't have to go through and individually line up the letters and try to get perfect, you know, like a perfectly straight line. It's already done for me. Now you want to set aside your L-O-V-E that you've done, right? And you're going to keep this as it is. And we're going to make a card from this. But before I go ahead and show you how we're going to make those pop, I'm going to decorate the front pretty quickly here. So I have these cute little hands that I thought would be really adorable underneath. And again, this is from that kit um, that I just told you about. But if you're interested, I'll have it listed down below. So make sure you check out that link. So I'm going to just decorate the front pretty simple with these little hands. And I die cut these as well out of, um, out of, uh, so cardstock. I think I got the cardstock through Hero Arts too. This is not a promo video for Hero Arts, you guys. You can do this with like any of your, your word dies. And then I'm going to go ahead and just flip that over, kind of line it up. I like to use glue for this. This glue dries clear, but what it does is it does allow me to get nice alignment and I can kind of move it around until I get to the point where I like it and I want it to be underneath that O and that V. Those thumbs are nice right there. This looks pretty good. And then from here, right in the center, I'm going to pop a little teeny tiny heart, okay? So I think that that's pretty freaking cute. And again, that's gonna dry clear, so I really don't care that that's showing through. So right now, this doesn't look like anything that great, right? Until we're gonna go ahead and do the inside. So I just created this card base with some watercolor paper and then also these uh, liquid watercolors from Hero Arts. And I'm going to just line it up like this for the center. I did my sentiment, which also is from the kit right here. No, they didn't send me the kit, I actually bought it so that you are vibrant, love all the sentiments on this. Um, and I just did it down to the side because when I close it, you're going to be able to see this through the background, which is going to really bring that front to life. So again, I like to use just a liquid adhesive to adhere my card uh, base or my, my mat because I can slide it around. I do not do a very good job laying things out perfectly lined up every time. So I just want to slide that around. All right, and then from here, we can just fold that over, but we're not done yet. I told you, remember to keep all of your pieces. So I need that little O, the little center piece for the O. So I'm just gonna pop that on right there. Take my little center piece. So you definitely wanna keep it and then just pop that on right there like so, and you know what else would be really cute right there is technically, you know, you could actually pop in another little heart right there for the center. And then when it opens it up, you have the heart. Ooh, I think I might do that. So yeah, that's changing it up as we go. So I'm going to, so that's cute as alone, right? That's pretty cute. But now I wanna go ahead and just pop in this heart and we'll use the heart as the O because when I open up, I wanna make sure all that's covering. Okay, so there's that. And now I need to probably wanna put a third little heart down here somewhere um, simply because I like to work in threes. So we'll put a heart down here. I'll use a little bit of a smaller heart this time 
right here and then boom there we go all right so the front of that card is pretty freaking cute right and then we're going to open it up and there's that little heart there so i'm going to do another heart up here see how i'm making sure that it doesn't pop through and i'm going to use a smaller one all right so we'll do that one right there so I'll have two little hearts up here, and then, you know what? I could do another one right about there. I just wanna make sure that I'm not, I'm not gonna peek through. I only want that, that little center um, to show, the O to show the little heart. Okay, so just gonna sit here and do this. Right about there, perfect. And then I'll do two down here. We'll do two small ones here. And then we'll move on to our second card where we use the other, um, the actual letters, right? That we cut them out with. Okay, so do this one here. Oh, flicked it on myself. I'll grab that later. That one there, then that one here. So now the inside of the card is just as spectacular as the front of the card. All right, so that's our first card. Now let's go ahead and move on to the second one. So for the second card, I have this background that I created using these three uh, watercolors from the kit. All right, and I think I have another video of me doing this. You also can find it on Instagram if you wanna see how I did those, but I mixed those and that's how many colors I got. And so for this one, I just want to do the love again, but this time I'm going to flip it like so. And I'm going to go ahead and use um, another card front. All right. So I think I'm going to do it like so, and then just do this. And so to do this, let me make sure... All right, so I'm just going to take it off a little bit, like so. And again, I'm just gonna use some liquid adhesive just to put my hands on. And I am gonna have the hands go off slightly off the card and I'll trim it up at the end. All right, so I'm, I'm doing that kind of on purpose. All right, there we go. And then this one. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, I certainly hope that you consider doing so, especially if you like content like this. I do a lot of paper crafting, mixed media, cards, techniques, things like that. So uh, lots of lots of different things on here. I have different unboxings that I do. And my whole purpose is basically if I can do it, you guys can do it because I really don't think that I'm like super talented or anything, but creating all has to do with the journey and what it does for you on the inside and how it makes you feel. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to break down any kind of um, anything that's inhibiting you to create or scaring you. I hope to encourage you not to be scared. So if you're into that, go ahead and uh, make sure that you follow me here on Insta I on um, YouTube, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and then also um, make sure that you have, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. I'd love to hear from you guys and talk to you. So um, I love to interact. All right, so this isn't quite the right size, so I have to cut this down just a little bit um, to get it to the size that we need it. So I want it to be 4.25 by five and a half. I want it to pretty much cover that, but if we are off a little bit here, so for this one, we are at right about 4.25, and then I'm just making sure, and then for this, I wanna do five and a half, see let's see 
Okay, I'm gonna take it down a quarter of an inch. So we're gonna do 5.25 and then we are going to do four. So I'm gonna take this side down um, by about an eighth and then this side down by about an eighth until we're at four. And this is gonna leave a nice mat on the front. Of course, I'm gonna have to re-ink those edges, which is okay. So anyway, this is why I edit videos now because you guys are like, man, I totally, I never know what I'm really gonna end up with. I go into crafts and my project with a particular idea in mind. And sometimes it just, usually it comes out way different than what I had anticipated. So I'm just gonna leave this in and you guys can kind of see the process. Cause I think that a lot of crafters, especially perfectionists or those that are new in the art, get frustrated with themselves because they had something in their mind of what they wanted to do and how they wanted it to look. And then at the end of the day, it totally went haywire. It's like they started off with one plan and they ended up with something completely different. And the journey that they thought they would take to get there is so much different than what they had anticipated. And um, I'm here to tell you that that's not only how it is in the arts and crafts world, but that's also how it is in life. We all start off with like what we want to do and we can be on the road to that and so many times we get hit with different roadblocks and whatnot and oftentimes we get frustrated but in the end it can turn out so much better even though it may be different than what we had anticipated so um that's something to keep in mind whenever you are crafting is that this kind of does resemble life on a on a smaller scale and that's okay because just don't give up just don't get so frustrated where you're like oh i'm so done because i'm telling you it's so it'll be so worth it all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put that v here then i'm just gonna kind of line it up and i like to start in the center and go from there and see how cute this is i'm not gonna do any other embellishments because the background on it is so so fun and there's so much going on that I really think this is enough. So you could, you know, do it kind of like that. I think I like that with the, um, what do you guys think? Do you like it? I think I like it on an angle like that versus just straight, straight across. Okay, so I'm just gonna do some pop dots on these to give a little bit of defin, just a little bit of like definition and personality to it. And I'm just gonna follow the hands and I'm gonna go around in a little curve with the hands. I'm only putting one pop dot on each of these because it'll hold just fine um, like this. So, you know, it's it's okay just to have one. I get, on some of them I probably too, could do two, but for the sake of a uh, of uh, YouTube, we'll we'll just do one. For the inside of this card, if you want to do a sentiment, obviously working on a darker card base can be challenging. All you have to do is just take a, a white piece of flat cardstock and mat it um, onto the center with your with your sentiment, and you are good to go. So something to keep in mind with that. All right, almost done here with this second card, and. I only had to swipe that love die once, and there we go. So this is the second card. Um, let's see here. There we go. How cute is that? Really cute, right? So it's funny, because they're definitely similar, but they're also different enough right? It looks like it goes together, but it's not perfectly matchy-matchy. All right, if you are interested in anything I use, I will have um, links listed down below, links to the Hero Art storefront um, if you're interested in this kit, and then also I'll try to find for you these cherry hearts that I used. Okay, you guys, until next time, I'm Betts Golden. Happy crafting.